I, I will say this. Uh, first of all, uh, to the folks in the gallery and the members that are still in their offices, uh, look at me. Do I look like a banker? <laughs> Senator Corker and myself drew this amendment up. The banks did not draw this amendment up, with the help of Senator Hagan, Crapo, and Bennett. As is usual, we agree on 90 percent, and it's 10 percent we disagree on. Do I think swipe fees need to be regulated? Of course. But the problem with this amendment is, is the exemption on community banks and credit unions under $10 billion does not work. Doesn't work. I've read all the quotes from Bernanke and Baer and the head of the OCC and the NCUA and all of them. They've said they don't know how to make a two-tiered system work because a free market system is what will overrule that, and that's the way it ought to be in this country. So the bottom line is, I look at this from a, federal, from a rural perspective and the impact the federal government has on rural America, and while we're trying to solve one problem, we're creating two or three others. And I could care less about the Wall Street banks. They're going to do fine. But I'll tell you what, uh, we, lose the banks, we lose the banks in our small towns in Montana or Wyoming or Tennessee, and you can put another nail in the coffin of rural America. 